everyone, this is CJ Novo992 And uh, today we are back for another brand new uh, video Now as you can tell by that delicious clickbait title Here to talk about Kenny Miller lads Now before we get into it and we, like you read the title And you're one of those guys that just comments saying What? Watch the video, listen to what I've got to say Listen to the poll result, then make your own opinion Then not be a sheep that just clicks on a video Watches a minute and a half it and writes your opinion Then not be that guy That guy's a dick, okay? Sorry to break it to you, but he is, right? Uh, earlier on in the season, I made a flop video for the players that could potentially flop. Obviously, I put Kenny Miller in there as number... Was it number three or number two? I can't remember. I put him in somewhere. Uh, uh, some of you might even know, because it was like... I was really, like, fucking hung out to drive on some Rangers Facebook. Um, where they kind of just edited it to make me look like I was saying bad stuff about Kenny. Not explaining it or anything like that. So, to those people... Boom! There's one for you, mate. Okay, hello. This is CJ Novo 992 um, so I'm going to explain my situation a bit more and sort of tell you my opinions of why I think he's going to flop and I think he's already potentially flopping so far this season. So let's get in it. Kenny Miller, should, um, is, I don't know what I'm going to tell, it's probably is he hurting the team, uh, should Kenny be in the first team, blah, 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 it's all the same. So right away I'm going to just say if Kenny Miller was playing centre forward, he would 100% be in my starting 11, he would 100% not be a flop. Straight away, if he's played as a striker... He's not a flop. If he's not as played as a striker, then he play him. Video over, check check the tape, cut it, print it, put it up on YouTube. That's it, alright? Because I'm sick of this. This is what we did with Kenny Miller lately, right? Okay? Hibs game, 1-1. One, one. Jack gets incorrectly sent off, okay? Down to 10 men. So we're light in the midfield. Jack's an enforcer in the midfield. Um, so you've got Rosser on the bench, you've got Peña on the bench, and you're looking, you're right, right. Which one of them is going to get... Uh, come on, just to solidify that midfield. Because it is a home game against a good Hibs side. They're not the second best team in the country, like Leon says they are. But he's the manager, he's got to say that, okay? So, we need to hold on to the midfield battle and try and nick another goal, right? So, what do we do? No, this is what we do. Kenny Miller, 38-year-old. Can you come? I know you've never really played centre mid before, apart from, like, the last three games where you've been dropping too deep. Do you mind playing centre mid against Hibs when we're 10 men down at 1-1? In the first half, sure, mate. Aye, let's go. Let's go put Kenny Miller in midfield. So anyway, skip the whole game. Obviously, it's no his position. He doesn't kind of positional. He's out of place. Doesn't mark. Doesn't close down a man quick enough. Loses the ball a couple of times. Couple of bad touches. He doesn't track one of the mans for one of the goals. Whatever. I'm not going to blame Kenny Miller for that. What I'm going to blame is his use and the this sort of mindset that we have to use Kenny Miller. And that's the whole point. There is a problem at Rangers, and it's. We need to get Miller in the squad. That is the problem. He's the player. Fans love him. I love him. He's King Kenny. King Kenny to me. He's King Kenny to everyone. We love him. We go crazy for him. He knows where the back of the net is. But we're doing this thing just now where we're sacrificing. We're basically playing with 10 men all the time. Because what we're doing is we're playing him in midfield. We're playing him in left wing. Which I'm going to talk about. Don't worry. We're playing him in right wing. Um, some of the Celtic games he's been playing right mid and left mid. Where he's been tracking back and defending. And you're like, what is going on? Right. Let's talk about the left wing situation. Let's talk about Hearts. So, uh, obviously we're at home. Are expected to win. I predicted a 2-1. I thought we'd have definitely scored. But we didn't, okay. We had loads of chances. We got a goal incorrectly ruled offside for a goal, which was Morales. We're not talking about that. We're not here to talk about that result. But let's talk about Kenny Miller, okay. Kenny Miller dropping deep all the time. Coming too far deep. Morales and him not really making the right runs. They're not matching. They're not talking to each other. Kenny's out tracking wide. Kenny's out tracking wide. Okay, so we're kind of, we're supposed to be playing a 4-4-2, but what we're really playing was a 4-5-1, 4-4-1-1. We've never played a 4-4-2. When we're actually playing well in the preseason, like against Sheffield Wednesday, we had more, uh, Herrera knocking the balls down and Kenny Miller running in behind. That is what we were doing. That is why the 4-4-2 works. When there's no Herrera, we do Kenny Miller and Morales. A lot of you love it. Miller comes in too deep. Morales strands up so it's easy to mark because he's got two centre-backs to mark him. Kenny Miller's in deep trying to win the ball back. We don't know what we're doing, right? Let's get past that. So about the 70th minute or something like that. No, it was about 60th, I believe. Nico comes on. Right, so we bring on Nico. Um, and then we switch from a 4-4-2 at home at 0-0 versus a team of 10 men behind the ball. And what do we do? We say, Kenny Miller, instead of coming off and putting another striker on or strengthening up or anything like that, what we want you to do is we want to play you out in the left. Out in the left wing. Now, I love Kenny Miller to death. He's never been the fastest player. He certainly is. He's always been quite quick over the first few yards. So that's why he's been a great poacher over the years. But he's definitely not pacey. And you saw it. Like, that right back was licking his lips for hearts. Like, number fair. I can't remember his name. I apologise. Um, soon as Kenny Miller went over, he was like, fuck, this has just got easy. 
and he just rinsed them the entire time. Fair play to Kenny, whipped in a couple of decent crosses, but that's you get the class with him. You do get the class, and I'm not trying to say he's shite now, he should never play again, but they're saying is those qualities should be played properly and harnessed properly. Put him as a striker, a centre-forward, out-and-out striker, you get goals, you get creativity, that is where he should play him. No telling him to drag too deep, and I don't know if it's coming for Pedro, or maybe it's Kenny Miller is trying too hard himself, so I'm not going to try and blame one or the other, I'm just saying it's not working just now, and I believe that is a massive problem for Rangers, and that's my side of it so I've explained just in the last two games I could go back as far as you want me to go because there was times last season where I was talking about it where he's playing centre mid some of you guys will know that if you actually watch the full games not just highlights and stuff like that you will know that um, so yeah hopefully it doesn't seem like I'm hating Kenny Miller I'm sure some Facebooks will try and dig this out to make me look like I'm saying bad things about Kenny Miller I'm just saying I love him as a striker if you're not playing him as a striker as an out and out forward don't fucking play him because it's just hurt hurting the team Pena Nico um, Rossiter Dodo They'll see you. They're all sitting there saying, how the fuck are we not playing? We're better in those positions. Ah, uh, yeah. That, that's my side done. But, um, uh, Ken Whip, before we get to the Twitter verse, put your comments down below and let me know what you're reacting to that. I'll give you a couple of seconds. We'll jump into the thing. Do you agree? Do you, should, actually, what am I going to say is, should Kenny Miller be in the first team if he's not playing striker? Yes or no? Let me know. Let's get to the sponsor break. Three, two, one. Sponsor break. <laughs> Steroids time, John Jones. <laughs> Recent news here at Siege and Over 92 channel. So yeah, let's let's just try and pretend that this is all planned and I've not just forgot to get the poll up when I was doing my sponsor break. And yeah, you cheeky bastards. Windass is injured and I put up on Twitter yesterday, can I cut my hair now? And because he's injured, nanny you say I. Like literally, what was it? The, the poll was a joke. I had 205 votes, 84% of you said no. So thanks for that, I'm just looking like a dick, but don't worry about it, it's just on the internet forever. <coughs> so let's find the actual poll that matters. So what I wrote out, and it's actually, wow, 357 votes, which is tremendous, thank you very much for that. It says, for tomorrow's video, is Kenny Miller's current role in the first team hurting Rangers? I say, the two options were no, still our best player, which got 30% of the vote. Yes, centre mid, left wing, right wing is no use, got 87% of the votes. Of 357, so I'm actually quite surprised at that, I quite like it, because the last time I said something bad about Kenny Miller, the comments were a fucking massacre. So, grown old mate. Voice of the voiceless, I'm getting these, we're getting in tune. Right, let's read out some of these bad boys and see where we're going to go. RSC reviews, at Novo Nation underscore one, thank you buddy. Uh, Kenny is getting too old for being a footballer, he just isn't who he was in 2010. I think it's time he relinquishes his title. Uh, we've got players that can do what he can do just as good. If you say you're going to play him, you play him as a second half sub or not. Yeah, that's my thing. I forgot to mention before I carry on reading anything else. I've said on Twitter and everything like that. What would you rather have? Would you rather have a fresh Kenny Miller against fresh defenders for 40 minutes? Right? Okay, because that's when he starts to tire off and loses a wee bit. Or would you rather have a fresh Kenny Miller, the instincts and everything like that, against tired defenders for the last 20 minutes of games? I know which Kenny Miller I'd rather have. Let me know down below. Smash the like button when you're there, lads, eh? Some people are getting lazy lately and it's hurting the channel, so if you're watching this video, if you like my content, it takes a second, lads, eh? Then it'd be that guy that just leaves it for everyone else to do. Oh, great. It's the channel legend. The newest, actually, there's been two, three new channel legends, actually, and I'm going to speak about them after in here as well. Ben McNeil, I believe that's it. I believe I've, I've nailed it. If he's not played as a striker, don't play him. That's my quote. See you in court. <laughs> Mark Menzies is another channel, uh, channel legend just went you just quoted CJ Novo <laughs> I like it mate I like it uh, right um, let's see where's the next one look at them 123 at Cairo K123 aka my, uh, my wrestling buddy uh, either play him as a striker or keep him as an impact, impact sub he isn't quick enough now at 38 but will always try and give his give us goals up front completely mate We're starting to get in tune uh, Matty Taylor who's also a channel legend uh, he's clearly not been performing as well this season as he was last last season. Um uh, Mark Mendes also wrote in, nah, he was only he was okay on the wings with Garner in the middle and our wingers were, were being shite last year. But now with Windass and Kideas, so nah. Probably the most Scottish tweet of all time. Too many nas. Nah nah. Nah. Eh. Oh, great. Ah, oh your hole. Of course. Actually I take it back, that's the most Scottish Twitter of all time. King Kenny Gas. Played as a striker all his career. Why change that at 8, 38? Don't know, mate. Fair play. I think what he's trying to say is he's played striker his whole career. Why, for the last maybe six months, we're trying to play him as a centre mid, left mid, right mid, right wing, left wing, whatever. 
trying to force him in the team. Speed on McLean. <laughs> nice. I always felt his first touch was terrible, but now at his age, he can't back it up like he did. So bench and bring him on for the last 30. Very fair point. And it's no like we're dissing Kenny Miller. Hopefully it doesn't look like we're just hating on Kenny Miller. And I believe my camera is freezing. So back in a sec. So yeah, the camera did freeze. Where were we? It's no zip we're hating on Kenny Miller saying he's not good enough or turning our backs on him or anything like that. So then he'd be that guy as well. There's a lot of guys in this video. Uh, EBT's forever who's the channel myth. Yes, if he doesn't play up front, then he shouldn't be playing at all. Brilliant, mate. I'm loving that's getting cut on, because I started saying that. I'm a... Uh, uh, fair play, he's actually... I, I've not, I can't always joke about that Facebook video where the guy tried to slaughter me. But the comments, 90% of them were actually fans. And you stuck up for me and you said, if you actually watch the video and everything. So I appreciate that, Novo Nation. You got those little fuckboys told. Daza2712 at Daryl2712. He's no good out wide. I would only play him every two or three weeks. Liam Ingus. Ingus. Kenny needs dropped. Still good play, but positioning all over the place at the moment. Herrera and Morelas equals <laughs> Perso and Manovo. I hope so, mate. I love it. Craig underscore C, 6090. Recall MOH and put him up front with Morelas. I like it. Although MOH has a buy-in clause in his loan, so we can't unfortunately call him back. So, yeah, St. Johnson's probably going to get him for peanuts, even though he's a top goal scorer. Great transfer news, lads. I'll talk about that, though. Don't you, you worry. That's in the Rangers re roundup this week. Alex MCM1872, if he's done his job and stayed up front uh, with Morelas, he could have pulled the defenders up, uh, about the place, freeing up space for Darren's, uh, Dorans to run into. Completely agree. Because he's not playing as a striker, what's happening is, I kind of kind of touched on it, he's dropping back, so the two defenders are just sitting on Morelas, there's no space for us to create, so we're having to do this. Left, right, left, right. Well, Kenny Miller's just running about like a fucking dug at a park. Stephen Brown, who's also a channel legend and the man that uh, and the man he actually looks over, Andy, who's a channel legend. So use two. Welcome to the channel legends badge. Um, yep, I've still got the list of channel legends that are over there, so it's not getting too big. But wow, camera, Stephen Brown. Yes, he is too slow now. Hasn't got the legs. What kind of gives you his goal so up front um, or be a good sub for the last twenty minutes? I'm gonna read out one more, which is John Turner at John Turner nineteen eight oh one. Don't know why I struggled so badly. I think he's just playing him because he feels he has to, bud. That is it. What is the problem with Rangers? I'm suggesting that maybe Kenny Miller's positioning or the way we're using him is one of the problems for Rangers. That is the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Hopefully you didn't watch it right to this point. If you did, fire in karate kick in the, in the comments. If, if you write karate kick in the comments, I'll know you watched it to the very end. I have been CG Novo 92. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.